everyone and welcome to our MGC info video. My name is Stephanie and I'm the Executive Director of the Multicultural Greek Council. The Multicultural Greek Council, or MGC, serves members of multicultural fraternities and sororities. Our council currently serves five chapters with one joining our community this fall. We have three Latinx sororities and fraternities, one Native American based sorority, one South Asian interest fraternity, and our new Asian interest fraternity. While each of our groups have a cultural affinity that is connected to their founding, each also strongly connects their multicultural identity. Our council has a strong connection to social justice principles, and you don't have to identify as a member of a certain cultural group to join one of our chapters. Now I'll introduce you to our chapters. First is Gamma Alpha Omega Sorority Incorporated, founded in 1993 at Arizona State University. They are Latina founded and are nicknamed the Gammas or the Tigresas. They were also the first MGC chapter to arrive on Oregon State's campus. Next is Omega Delta Phi Fraternity Incorporated. They're Latino founded in 1987 at Texas Tech. Their nicknames are the OD5s or the Knights. Next is another Latina founded organization, Kappa Delta Chi Sorority Incorporated, nicknamed the Katie Chi's or the Pinguinas. They are also founded in 1987 at Texas Tech. Next we have Alpha Pi Omega Sorority Incorporated. They are Native American based and go by the nickname Apayo or the Queen Bees. They're founded in 1994 at the University of North Carolina. Next, we have Sigma Beta Rho Fraternity Incorporated. They're a South Asian interest organization founded in 1996 at the University of Pennsylvania. They're nicknamed Big Rho or the King Cobras. Last but not least, I'll introduce you to our newly chartering fraternity joining our campus this fall. Lambda Phi Epsilon Fraternity Incorporated was founded in 1981 at UCLA. They're an Asian interest fraternity looking for men to carry on their legacy by establishing a chapter at OSU. If you're interested in being a founding father of Lambda Phi Epsilon, please contact the Center for Fraternity Story Life or the CFSL. We hope you continue to learn more about our chapters and feel welcome to explore all that we have to offer. Next, we'll learn about the MGC membership experience. Hello, my name is Cheke and I'm the Director of Internal Affairs for the Multicultural Greek Council. All of our MGC chapters are on house. This means that many of our chapters operate and host events on campus often in one of our OSU cultural resource centers. Like other chapters in Greek community, we host a, a variety of philanthropies and organized community service opportunities. Chapters often have fundraisers, informational workshops, and community events. Chapter sizes are typically smaller, but our groups are, are always looking to grow. Those for an NGC chapter can range from $200 and $300 per academic year. Something unique is our culture and traditions. Many of our traditions come from the National Panhellenic Council, also known as the Divine Nine, which are the historically Black Greek letter organizations. Their funding has pivoted the way for cultural and, and multicultural organizations to exist. Tradition like strolling, strolling is a way we like to get together as a community. Strolling is defined as an organized line movement performed around the floor up at the party, or it can be a cultural dance that is often performed in a circle or in unison to symbolize unity and strength. Our council, has of, our council often hosts showcases and yard shows where members stroll and show pride for their organizations and have a good time. Another tradition that we have is new member presentations or probates. When new members join or cross into organization, that chapter hosts a new member presentation as a way to introduce and welcome new members to the community. At a presentation, neo, neos or new members typically recite the Greek alphabet, the history and information about their orgs and perform a unique stroll. This is one of the biggest ways that we support each other and get together as a community. Now you hear about how you can join an NBC organization. Hello everyone, my name is Kelly and I'm one of the Multicultural Greek uh, Council Delegates. So the joining process for our MGC chapters is slightly different and is called membership intake. If you're interested in joining one of our MGC organizations, we recommend to try and attend as many council sponsored programs as you can to learn more about the community, as well as attending individual chapter events and activities on campus. As these, at these events, you can introduce yourself to members of the chapter and express that you would like to learn more about their organization. Each chapter has their own unique joining process. This process is called membership intake. As a general rule, several of the multicultural Greek organizations do not accept students who have not have an established GPA at OSU. 
it is always best to check with individual chapters about their own intake process, which can vary from two to six weeks. During this time, members learn more about their chapter's foundings and traditions. To learn more about multicultural Greek chapters, we will be having a meet and greet event on Wednesday, September 23rd at 6 p.m. behind Weatherford. This is a great chance to informally hang out and get to know some of our chapters. If you would like to hear more about our members' experience, check out our Q&A video on our website. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at osu.mgc at gmail.com or the Center for Fraternity and Sorority Life at the CFSL at OregonState.edu. You can also keep up with us on our Instagram at Oregon State MGC, all one word. Thanks for watching and we look forward to meeting you all in the fall.